On a much different note now, shoppers wanting to make burgers on the grill have gotten sticker shock at the grocery lately when it comes to beef prices. As Local 12's James Pilcher shows us, the impact goes way beyond the meat shelves at the store. Burgers like these, like the one here at Bard's Burgers in Latonia, have gotten a lot more expensive. It's even caught the attention of the grocery store giant Kroger, which is warning customers about higher prices. Prices for ground beef at Kroger and elsewhere range about six to seven dollars a pound, formerly what shoppers might pay for a good steak. Signs we've seen at local Kroger stores tell shoppers the high prices are due to supply problems for meat processors. The owner of Bard's Burgers also has had to raise prices. I mean, they've just literally skyrocketed. I mean, almost triple. They were about triple for a little bit. It used to be like seven something for a burger and fries, which is a pretty killer price for our standard burger and fries, and we're now at $10 plus tax. When coronavirus hit, many meat processors either shut down or cut output because of production issues. President Trump used the War Powers Act to force the companies back into full production. That's mostly done by one of four companies, including industry giants Tyson and JBS. Eleven state attorney generals last month launched an investigation into possible collusion by those companies. And now the situation has sparked an antitrust investigation by the Justice Department and a separate probe by the U.S. Agriculture Department. Those investigations were first reported last week by both Politico and the Wall Street Journal. One Nebraska rancher and advocate says that ranchers get less than 30% of what a customer pays for beef. That compares to more than 60% in the 1970s. As a result of all this cons consolidation and control of the market, um, the, the profit of the product has just been squeezed away from the people producing that product. We reached out to all four meat processors. Only one responded in declined comment. In Latonia, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. We also reached out to Kroger. They did not respond to our several requests for interviews.